In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to develop three heights to drastically improve the quality of your flam accent as well as all flam rudiments. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to get cleaner flams every time. I've shown this to hundreds of young drummers, many of whom have gone on to make a living playing the drums, and I can show you too. Gabriel, this is Drum Tip Tuesday, where you'll find practical tips on how to improve your drumming. The first task is to establish three stick heights and assign them each to a value. Now, the physical stick height and velocity of stroke is of course relative to the drum that you're playing on and the music that you're playing, but since I have a drumline background, I'm going to discuss this in a way that applies to the snare drum. We approach the heights two at a time with a simple exercise we call bucks. Here we define the accent from the tap and then the tap from the grace note. And finally, we put all three together. Tap, grace, and accent. After firmly establishing these heights, it's important to devise a method of further developing and preserving the quality of this in your hands. Now you have to establish a consistent eighth note rhythm and alternate accented and unaccented notes. One bar on the right, one bar on the left, and two bars on the right, then just the opposite. One on the left, one on the right, and finally, two on the left. And it sounds like this. Now in this exercise, we work less on strict stick heights and more on speed. Now if you've never done this, prepare yourself for a whole new way to do things because not only can you do this to flam accents or any flam rudiment, but so many, uh, oh, any rudiment. Uh, you do so by playing a series of flam accents and without stopping, move your left hand over to the rim like this.
The rhythm that is left on the drum is the one hand breakdown of that rudiment. You'll notice that the difference between your taps and grace note diminishes in this experiment, and that's okay. Because as you put any flam rudiment together up to tempo, the grace note will sort of uh, float. In other words, the difference between the grace and the tap is slightly compromised in order to get speed. Perform an exercise wherein you execute the one hand breakdown on the right, then the one hand breakdown on the left, and then the rudiment in its entirety in this way. And remember, if you liked the video, if you got any sort of value from it, hit the like button down below, subscribe to come back every week, drop a comment to let me know what you want to hear next here on Drum Tip Tuesday.